There's a lot of stuff to loot in here if you're so keen on doing it. Ha! Keen! Ha! Because we just killed him. Oh, here he is. Marcus isn't going to be happy about the deaths, but I guess they were unavoidable. At least I got a lot of useful data from the experiment. This brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. If the prototype was constantly in use on a living subject, however, perhaps Lily might be willing to wear the prototype for a longer duration. The data would be invaluable. What are you wanting to do? I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. I think Lilix should continue to wear the Mark II prototype. Very well. It will be worth it, I'm sure. Alright, that is the end of the quest. Okay. That's who I was <laughs> waiting for. Um, I believe the name of that quest is actually uh, a bit of a joke because you get to see Dr. Henry, who is a former Enclave soldier, or former Enclave member, um, scientist. And uh, you also see Marcus, which is a, you know, former character in Fallout 2. So I, I thought that was kind of a fun little, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that was, that the, na the quest was named that because of that cure for the night thing. Supposed to be on the way. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is supposed to be. Okay, so what to do next? Maybe, maybe we could go take out some fiends, perhaps? What the heck happened to Marcus? Where is he? He needs my help. But we also have these, uh, these NCR dudes causing problems over here. I wonder why Marcus hasn't triggered yet. <laughs> Unless he's just staring at the... Or is that him? Is that him? That is him. Okay. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. What would you like me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Have they been harassing the town? Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. You're sure these mercenaries work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. All right. Now I got to use our 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 social prowess yet again. I'm having trouble with words today. <laughs> Something like that. We got these mercs out here causing trouble for the mutants. They're trying to just get a rise out of them so they can wipe the town out, and that's that's their job. But hey. Hey, sir. Our business is with the muties, not you. Well, you all mercs. Will caps make you go away? We're still owed half. 2,500 caps. Pay up and we'll be on our way. If you're short, maybe you can get the money from the muties. Here's y'all money. A deal's a deal. We'll be on our way. All right. <laughs> that was a lot of caps, but I won't have a problem getting that back, especially if we go and start fighting some fiends and getting their weapons and, re and uh, selling them to the local vendors. I also have a ton of 45 weapons that I haven't sold yet that's uh, back at Harper's Shack, too. So, Keen's dead. Knew it might come to that someday. Makes things difficult for the town. Without Keen, it'll be hard to convince other nightkin in the wasteland to come here. And harder to get the ones here to stay. Ain't no more trouble coming from those mercs. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Goodbye. See you. And we did it. Unfriendly persuasion. Can I kill them afterwards? I kind of want to kill them afterwards. A little bit. I wonder where they go off to. It is, it is four dudes and... Oh, they have energy weapons too. Wait a minute. This is not standard NCR fare. So tough if you've got the firepower. Okay, so a sniper rifle. Oh my goodness. Much cooler up here. I love it. Much cooler up here. I love it. Oh, you do. You it sounds like you do. You've said it three times in a row. Uh this is a invisible wall right here. This is this there's a problem here. There's a problem here. There's a big old invisible wall right under this tree. All right, well, let's start heading back to town. Here we are starting at the El Rey Motel, uh, because it is, <laughs> I guess, the uh, the safest location to spawn in. 
uh, close to Vault 3 and the Fiend territory. I've apparently already got a, a little battle going on here. But being I don't have... Is it over here? It's probably over here. Oh, there it is. There's... Oh, oh. That's right. So, with New Vegas' respawns, I don't think... I don't know if it was the same in Fallout 3. But with New Vegas' respawns, where they die... Quiet. Where each NPC dies, they respawn at that very same place. So, the Mr. Steels are outside of the New Vegas Steel. Quite a few of them are. As are the fiends that were fleeing <laughs> when we went to uh, acquire Corporal Sterling's weapon. Time for some get Yeah, he's done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Don't mind so this is, a, this is a, good, a good first start. So we're here gathering up some weapons. Okay, that other, that corpse, oh, there's the corpse, okay. And let's see, Mr. Steel, we'll switch over to our pulse slugs, because those will take out, oh, I can't remember if there was a, there was a trap here or not. I've got a little buzz in my ear, I'm hoping that's just my earbuds and not the game itself. <laughs> we'll see if there's, if, if it is, we'll see if there's a way to doctor up. Oh, maybe they were, maybe they were going back inside the building. Ooh, that would be, that would be a kamikaze mission. What? Why was there a plasma rifle just sitting out here? That's kind of funny. Uh, should we risk it? Should we risk it? Let's just, let's just pop right in for one second, Cass. Let's one second. You ready to die? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the fiend went. Um, he got his gun shot out of his hands, apparently, and just fleed into here. Do, are the Mr. Steels still in here? Or did they all go outside and they get lost? I think they got lost. I'm not seeing any other blips on the radar. Interesting. Well, just in case, we did equip our pulse slugs. Oh, I can't. I couldn't see for a second. With our Pip-Boy 2500. The gorgeous Pip-Boy 2500 reminded me of the good old days of Fallout. Not necessarily to say that the recent ones are bad. I mean to say that... Uh, th there's there's some there's some endearment there's some endearing qualities about the original Fallout's that I uh, am nostalgic for every so often. I'm sure that goes for everyone with their nostalgia games. I'm sure Final Fantasy VII is another one of those for me. Um, probably the most. Uh, you wouldn't expect it being a Fallout channel, <laughs> but uh, that's that's one of them, man. Um, I definitely don't play Final Fantasies as much, especially the new ones. I haven't played. Anything past 12, uh, at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> How are they? I, I heard Final Fantasy XIII's a hallway simulator. And I heard Final Fantasy XV's okay. Uh, very pretty to look at. Uh, Kite calls it the pretty boy simulator. And I'm inclined to agree, just looking at it at that face value. <laughs> With slugs, I'm not gonna get the knockdown nearly as much. But I am going to get some hard-hitting single shots if I can land them. Let's see. Let's see if we can get one hit. One hit? Come on! Nope. That. Nope. 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 Let's get some mags out. Come on! Oh, I had to reload again. Gosh darn it! That doesn't make any sense. Ho ho! That was fun. Oh, he's still alive. Ha ha! Center of mass! Does the- wait, does the Magnum- The Magnum has pellets too, right? I feel like my bullet spread decreases if I aim down the sights like this. I feel like that's how it goes. So I'll probably have an easier time just by, uh, <laughs> aiming normally. Uh, it's gonna be- gonna be weird, because my, uh, my Twitch shooter type skills are not very uh good <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here I'm not a, I'm not a good shooter person that's that's basically it okay uh all right let's go into the vault 3 area and see what kind of problems we can solve with our with our lever action shotgun it seems to be the weapon we just go to automatically now because the fiends are just, just shotgun fodder. <laughs> I probably want to heal up too. 
five sarsaparillas should do the trick. Actually, it doesn't look like they did. <laughs> it didn't look like they did much at all. Except make my character thirsty. Okay. So we're going to try to do our best not to alert everyone in the area. Just a couple. Just a select few to start with. We had one, one fiend over there. We have some fiends over here. One fiend over there. We do have a sneak skill now, too. <laughs> That's odd. And then the fight. Uh, let's see. Who's looking at us? That one? Let's she has no head. What about this one? Uh, well, we're not gonna go center of mass. We're gonna go for, go for the head. Yeah, there goes her head. Don't need this right now. Don't. You started it, Cass. Actually, I don't know if she did. Oh, none of them? None of them connected. Oh, they threw a grenade at their friend. We got somebody else coming. Be careful, Cass. Be careful. They're evil. He just grabbed his friend's rifle, too. Where's he going? Where are you going? Holding You're my dead breath. now. Well, this has gone well so far. <laughs> why don't we why don't we go into the into the sign shop? Um I think that's what it's called. And fight Duke. He's a he's a fun named fiend to fight. Um I think he w might have been among the bounties for fiends, but um I guess that was just uh, like taken out of the quest or something like that. Not entirely sure. Uh that was an accident. And we're going to shoot it right in the head again. Haha. -ha. Oh. Okay. Do a little more, little more, being a little more effective with the with the 357 Magnum rifle because we're fighting things that are at a more manageable level, I suppose. So what I like to do in the fiend territory, I'm probably not going to do it this time, but I like to pile all of their bodies in one centralized location and then when they respawn, they all spawn in those spots where their bodies are located. So I walk in there, throw one grenade, and get a whole crap ton of experience and loot as a result. Um, probably not going to do it this round, this time. But if we tend to come back here every so often, um, I may, I may show off that little, that little tidbit of, uh, of information. Um, it feels kind of cheap too, actually. So I don't know if I'm actually going to do it, but. Uh, uh, it'll be a good way to show you guys how, how I like to level in Fallout New Vegas, I suppose. Um, because everybody's got their own special way. I remember I asked you guys beforehand, like, which le which areas you like to level up. And the Fiend Territory is one of those one of those places, as well as the, you know, the ghouls in the southern parts, um, southern and western parts of the map. Because the ghouls are relatively easy to take out. But, somebody is asking if I've uh, ever thought of doing a series of on New Vegas builds and I, I I don't think I have any interest in doing a builds like a builds series I, I I will play a build and do like a let's play of it but when it comes to like actual like here's a build that you can try yourself um, type videos I don't think I, I would be into that also uh, Michael and Scott of Fudge Muppet uh, are definitely superior and that is their niche as far as I remember, um, and they do an excellent job at it, uh, and I would actually recommend their stuff. There, there's quite a few other uh, Bethesda YouTubers that actually do really good builds, but uh, Fudge Muppet comes to mind. It's and it's not really. I don't think it's just. I just don't think it's my thing. Um, kind of like the mod reviews. Um, I tried a couple, and it just wasn't. Just wasn't my thing. I prefer researching guide content rather than rather than builds or uh, mod stuff. Okay, he's got a plasma weapon. Now he doesn't. <laughs> I'm digging these crits that I'm getting quite a bit. I'm gonna have to get our weapon repaired pretty soon too. Good thing we're f harvesting money from these guys. I don't know if this is even fair. <laughs> I feel like I should have my, uh, my, my revolver out at some point. Did I bring a revolver with me? I can't. Are you freaking kidding me? Cass, I'm right here. You walked right into me. Can you not, please? 
that made me mad a little bit. <laughs> okay, the rest of them are behind this building here. And this is Vault 3. Apologies for the kids yelling outside. I guess, uh, I guess school's out. I guess school's out for the day. Or something like that. <laughs> um, we have, a, we have a little, like, playground out back for, uh, the apartment complex we live. And they have a bit of a, bit of a fun child being kids, you know, every so often. Uh, and there's, like, a seesaw back there. And... I, I made it a point uh, last year around this time to WD-40 it because it squeaked it. so insanely loud. Uh, wait a minute. Where are the fiends here? Are they on the other the other other side? That one's gonna die. Yeah. I feel like it's more than 36%. I feel like it's more than a couple percentage points. Because I've gotten headshots left and right here. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's awesome, though. I feel really overpowered. Got your standard, standard rounds. You like the sight of There's one. Blood. That was definitely a miss. Okay. Where's that last one? Hello, fiends. Where's your last person? Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Ha! Ha! Ah, uh, okay. I wanted to get at least shot. <laughs> One shot, at least, on that guy. It's already nighttime here. I wonder if they have any beds in that, in that shop where Duke is. And I'm probably gonna want to use said bed just to make it daytime. Oh, there's some out here! Never mind. Okay, we're not able to make anything. Uh, there's a spot out here. I think it's right there that has that's covered in traps but We do have a few things we can loot over here that aren't covered in traps And in fact give us a little bit of a little bit more explosives Which I probably won't be using because I like my dynamite not my grenades Okay, so there's a tripwire here and a grenade bouquet right there. Can we actually Can we actually like Disarm it from this. We can! We can disarm it from this side. <laughs> That's awesome. Because I, I, don't, I don't know how easy it is to get this tripwire without disarming the thing. Okay, were there mines here too? I don't remember. They really wanted to protect the. Ooh, they had a service rifle here too. They really wanted to protect their medical supplies over here. I don't blame them. They're fiends. Somebody had their stash. That's what it was. Somebody had their stash over here, and they were like, mm, "My brothers and sisters of the drug are not gonna get, not gonna get my chems over here," or something like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> are you gonna do a New California Republic or fall out the frontier walkthrough, or fall, sorry, fall out New California or fall out the frontier playthrough? And I would like to. I'd really like to, but it all depends on how much stuff. Is happening the rest of the year like I already had a Bad Fallout 4 VR season. playthrough planned but eh, Fallout 76 is coming out very soon and I don't think I'll actually have the time to record that playthrough before Fallout 76 comes out because I don't even have a, a, an intro made for the Fallout 76 content guides so yeah we'll see we'll see <laughs> it is something I want to do but I I don't I don't see it happening anytime soon I am definitely interested in them still. Uh, okay, so we gotta reduce our rads. Use some ant nectar because our strength went down. And we might as well use up what we have for sure. And this computer, this terminal here, is rigged up the keep selling his shit if they join the Legion. with a trap. I don't have the explosive skill. I almost do. Getting pretty close to having universal levels of skill that uh, are helpful. Okay, so... Something's gonna, something to take the edge something's gonna shoot yeah. this. I like how, right outside, we have, <laughs> we had some mines that we could have gathered, that we did gather, that we can place here soon, and uh, kind of cut off this doorway, funnel the enemies a little bit, because that that is just a mess of mines right there. I like to do this just about every time I'm here, because. There are fiends. Gonna be a bad day for somebody. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
You're right, Cass. Huh!